What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm at my next service call. We have a tankless condensing combi. Uh, these devices, which provide space heating and domestic hot water, are in one box. We have a residential client that's got plenty of hot water, but no space heating. Zones are calling, zones are pumping, but the boiler, the tankless combi, isn't running. This is a quick little video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me get your thoughts and feedback in the comments section down below if you'd like to learn more. Let's go. All right, I got a no heat service call here that came in on New Year's Day. Um, you see this little device right here? See this little bad boy right there? It's called a low water cutoff. And its job is that when it senses no water is to prevent the heating system from running. God forbid there's no water here and the boiler was running, you'd probably do irreparable harm to the system. So this little device, my safeguard, right, is right now, if you can see it, that yellow, orange light, which has a low water illuminator on it. Let's see if I can hold down that reset button, what happens? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Let's see, maybe I'm not pushing it enough. Let me use a sharp, pointy little object. There you go. Heard that little click. Let's see what happens here. Okay, no change. Let's unplug it. Okay. All right, and it looks like they only use uh, some pipe dope on the threads, and if that's plastic, that's okay. But the replacement that we're gonna install, if you read the manual, you can't use PTFE Teflon tape on it. Right now we have a low water condition, and if we follow these wires, we're gonna see that that black wire, we have the red and the white is giving it 24 volts, which it needs to operate. And the yellow is going to one side of my TT, and the other is going to my thermostat. So if we were to theoretically take the one wire to the thermostat, which is this white wire. Hold on a second. Let me get my other hand available. All right, so here... Okay, so now if I take this white wire and I put it in there, and we have, we have action. Beautiful. And she's running. All right. Now, what, how this should have been wired before is that the, the yellow wires coming from our low water cutoff should be going to our low water cutoff connection on the boiler, but here they just broke TT, which is our thermostat. So we can keep it that way, it's fine, but it would be, be more of a uh, guide to a less experienced technician if, if it was wired to our low water cutoff connections there, because then the system would give a low water cutoff issue in the event of no heat. All right, got the guard dog. RB24E. I'm going to take some Mega Lock. And apply it generously on the threads. Beautiful. Oh, there's another indoor bird chirping away. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's quickly look at the, the manual for the RB24. And again, yeah, guys have never read any of the instructions that come with the components that you're replacing. It's a good idea to take it home and read it. Sit it when you're sitting in the bathroom. Here, page six, installing the low water cutoff, step three, sparingly. Well, I was a little more sparingly. I was very, quite liberal. Apply pipe sealant to the external threads D with on the probe. And warning, do not use PTFE tape, also known as Teflon tape, or Blue Monster tape. Only use pipe sealant. Failure to follow these instructions will cause the probe not to function as intended and could result in property damage, personal injury, or death. So, read the instructions, guys. 
It's to your benefit. Learn something new every day. I'm going to take some water out of this boiler. Just a little bit to take the pressure out. All right. Not look like there's much there, which is good. So now I'm going to try to take that bad boy out. Yeah, not that strong. And that's all she wrote, folks. But before I leave, we're gonna do a combustion analysis and then I'm gonna update the service tech. You can see we've been here for a while, going back to February 14, 2019, where we did some annual service until today, January 2nd, 2025, where we replaced the low water cutoff. Looks like we were just here uh, in October 1st for a boiler inspection. We did a chemical flush in 2023, 2022, replaced a three-way valve in 2020, just a general service call in 2019, and early in 2019 did a flush of the heat exchanger, replaced and cleaned the flame rod. So it's good because if we're not the company that comes back, at least they can have a detailed record, whoever services the machine in the future, to know exactly what's going on here. So uh, these pretty cool tags you can get at any custom printing location or if you want to find out where we get ours email me mike at mikeypipes.com anyways but you're gonna be home for now yeah yeah beautiful 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 second floor Beautiful. And uh, there's definitely something going on over there. So we're two zones, first floor, second floor, both heading. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you live in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, and you're tired of getting bamboozled by your HVAC contractor, I want you to pick up the phone and call me at 516-348-6300. Or save time, book online at pipedoc.net. I'll catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.